Hey, and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. 119 has just gone live, and with it came a whole new set of rewards and different things we can work towards to obtaining. In this video, I'd like to show you all the new rewards you can obtain and how you can get them. Alright, so let's first start off by looking in the collections tab. You go to Descent into Avernus, and the first thing you can see here is the Celestial Set. The Celestial Set is obtained by completing the trial Zariel's challenge. It has the highest item level and thus the highest weapon damage so it's most likely best in stock for all classes. Arguably maybe not the tanks since it doesn't have a bonus to damage resistance like the Lionheart does. Then we have the Legion set. This is the best in slot set for those of you who haven't managed to complete Tome and get the Lionheart set yet. However it is locked behind RNG and obtained from the treasure maps in Avernus. Then we have the Hellfire Engine set. This set is simply obtainable just by purchasing it from the Blood War store. You can see you can just purchase it here. I currently have it in my inventory just here. And we will restore one of them in this video. Along with that, we have a few items added to the Antiquities of Avernus. And these are these pieces of gear here. I believe it's two pieces per slot. However, the bonuses on these are actually pretty abysmal for pretty much all of them. On top of this, hidden away from your collections, we have the ability to farm these rings. You can get all sorts of different rings. From maps, you can obtain the blue ones up to plus three, and from these bosses, you can obtain plus fours and plus fives, legendaries. All of these rings are very similar to the rings which you will find in the Underdark campaign, just here. You can see they all have the fairly similar effects. However, these new rings have much higher item level and also stats that they grant us. So, to begin with, you've purchased your Hellfire engine set. Let's go and see how to restore this thing. So, the first reagent that you need is the Firesmith's Hammers. These Firesmith's Hammers are obtainable through the treasure maps. Treasure maps are obtainable by killing mobs. Every time you kill a mob, there's a chance that a map will spawn. I've been trying to farm maps for ages now, and for me, the drop chance is at least around 1% per mob. It could be a bit higher. I may be just exaggerating, but that's what it seems at this current time for me. So it's such a pain and a grind to farm these maps. Then, easily enough, the Whispered Confessions you can just purely obtain them every time you complete a heroic encounter. If I just hit claim rewards here from this heroic encounter, I gain the Whispered Confessions. These heroic encounters are the small ones. Then we have our Accursed Grinding Wheel. This is simply purchased from within the campaign store just here, the Accursed Grinding Wheel. Then, of course, we just have a whole pile of Infernal Scrap there, required 500 to upgrade this shield. Let's go ahead and click restore, warning me that this will be bound to account, and here we go, success. And now you can go ahead and of course refine it all the way up to legendary there, but here we have the green version in our inventory. You can see this set bonus is not particularly the best. It's decent for skirmish fights where you just jump into combat, kill the mobs, and move on, just so you can move quickly and you'll be able to use more of that stamina also nice and quickly. Other than that, the only reason you'd get this set is because it has higher weapon damage than your burnish set. You can see here the highest weapon damage for me is 4,848, whereas the burnish set is only 4,320. Burnish set is also very similar to the alabaster set. They have the same base weapon damage. So if you did have that set burnished from the seals, and the alabaster from master expeditions you're now better off trying to grind out the hellfire engine set however what you do want to get if you haven't managed to complete tome yet is the legion guard set since it will give that extra bonus stats and if you're running with party members who also have this set you'll gain extra stats it also has much higher weapon damage a good bit more than your hellfire engine set just under 200 there difference Okay, so now let's move on to the Infernal Forged gear. Something I just I didn't mention earlier when we were looking in the collections tab 
you can see here the infernal forged gear has a whole new different kind of sets here they are exactly the same with the bonuses that they give however you can now restore the gear to give it that extra plus one percent damage to either devils or demons so let's go ahead and see what it requires to restore your infernal forged gear as a dps the boots are actually pretty decent especially if you don't want to be running with those rusted iron leggings giving that minus 25 percent incoming healing because healers have had a major rework and i don't think they can afford to have that negative incoming healing on their targets anymore so if we click restore on these boots then need to choose a result do you want it to be for demons or do you want it to be for devils essentially the demon one will give plus one bonus to devils and the devil one giving plus one bonus to demons so we'll first click on the demons one since i actually have the reagents for it First up, you just need those fire smith's hammers from the treasure maps. You need those whispering confessions from the heroic encounters. You need the brazier of hellfire, which is simply just purchased within the blood war store. You see here, the brazier of hellfire for 50 infernal scrap. And then we have these demons curse. The demons curse is obtained by killing those bosses. You have to kill the head leader of the party of demons to obtain the demon's curse and for the opposite one you have to kill the leader of the party of devils to obtain the devil's contract along with that you just need 200 infernal scrap so we'll go ahead and restore this piece and there we go now you can see if i look at it in my inventory here it gives plus one damage against devils however there's an option to restore it a second time to restore it a second time, and if you do, you gain a plus one bonus to damage against demons, devils, and fiends, therefore making it universally beneficial for all of the fights, so you won't have to switch out to different sets. You can see here we need Razor of Hellfire, we need a Devil's Contract, and we need a Demon's Curse. Currently, I have not managed to obtain a Devil's Contract since it's very damn hard to get the Devil to spawn. So now let's move on to the different types of gear which you can obtain through the treasure maps. You can see here I've gained quite a few of the different gear. This is one of the head pieces. They give just difference in varied stats comparably to the other ones, but their bonus is the same there. Essentially when you kill an enemy you gain 5000 power for 10 seconds. You can see just to the left there my Lion Guard uh, helmet is essentially better since it gives that 5,000 power all the time, pretty much, as long as you haven't used up all your stamina. I currently did not manage to obtain a chest piece, but essentially when you deflect, there's a 10% chance that you restore 5% of your maximum HP. Very similar to the Lion Guard chest piece, and again, just pretty meh. Maybe alright for a tank, uh, but that's about it. Then the arm slots, you can see I have one of them here. Essentially just gives you more power the more health you're missing and then the boots at the start of combat You'll basically gain 3,000 power for 10 seconds On top of this in treasure maps you can also find it looks to be shirts and pants of the 1010 item level and also these pretty meh rings So let's move on to how and where to kill those parties of devils and demons if you look here on the map just at the top right there we have this blood war bar essentially when you kill devils the demon bar will fill up and when you kill demons the devil bar will fill up however when one fills up the other reduces and thus you're gonna have them competing so you have to kill more of one type of enemy in order to get this all the way full however when you do get the bar filled you'll have 10 minutes to kill the party of either devils or demons depending on which one spawned you need to go to the, the location as i show you here this is where the party of demons will spawn in the devil's area and they'll just continue along this path and just raging and killing all the devils that they see along the way however the sad thing is you actually have to kill the head boss in order to get the drops this is very unfair for healers and also tanks who haven't got a DPS loadout. So the best way to go about and do this 
is to just go alone and to do your best to be in an empty instant make sure there's nobody who's going to kill steal from you and essentially either solo it or have a party with you and you already have predetermined who is going to get the kill for that one anyway once you do kill these there's a chance to get these different types of rings you can also get all these purple rings on legendary as you can see here i have the ring of the overwhelmed which is a plus five version essentially of this other ring of the overwhelmed it's actually pretty decent for tanks essentially when you've been running for one second you can see here in the legendary you gain 10 damage resistance as long as you continue running another bonus here is when you hit a foe you gain power and this can stack up to 10 times essentially when you hit a foe 10 times or foes 10 times you gain 4350 power stacking that up to 10 times Another bonus here is every 30 seconds you gain that 7,500 power for 8 seconds. This of course will go up at least 10 seconds every 30 seconds on Legendary. And then you have this Ring of the Condemned. Essentially when you've been running for 2 seconds you generate threat around you as long as you continue running. I assume when this goes to Legendary it will be 1 second instead. So for the party of Devils, they will spawn in the Demon area. And they'll spawn in this location here and then they'll just make their way off around here you'll notice them immediately by they'll be quite big they'll have those elite hp bars and they'll just be fighting all the demons in their vicinity you kill him and he'll essentially drop the exact same loot as the other party so there isn't too much of a fuss on which party to kill at least that's what i have heard and that's what I kind of assume. So one thing I have not shown you here is myself upgrading this piece of gear since I don't have these requirements. But you can see how it's fairly simple to do so. All I would need is a Devil's Contract. I can simply buy the Brazier of Hellfire from the campaign store. So I think that's everything. If I've missed anything or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. If you think I presented this well, Consider leaving a like and we'll see you around. Goodbye for now.